Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day tutorial. Um, I know a lot of these are going around right now, um, but a lot of them are just like the very generic light pink smoky eye. It's really pretty. I'm going to have a little bit more fun with it. Okay. Now, the look I'm going to do for you ain't going to be for if you're going out on a first, second, third date and the guy doesn't really know you that well yet. This look is going to be more for those of you who's already in an established relationship or are married and you're just, you want to have fun with your makeup. My husband knows I've been having a lot of fun with my makeup recently. <coughs> and he knows I've been enjoying it. So, most people right now, they're using the Modern Renaissance or they're using the new Wet n Wild Rosé in the air. I've even seen a couple with the Carly Bible palettes. I'm going to use a combination of the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics and the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer. Um, I would just do it all with Beauty Killer, but um, I wanted to bring this in just in case I need a couple more shades that are a little bit more neutral. I might not end up using this at all. But, <clears throat> I'd rather have it in case I need it than need it and not have it. So we're going to start with my face makeup. Um, my skin has been shit because I'm not going to lie, I've been shitty about taking care of it. Plain and simple. Um, but I do want to use a fuller um, coverage foundation. Um, so... When I use any type of full coverage foundation, I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Um, and I think at this point, even if it wasn't a fuller coverage, I'd use it anyway. So I'm just taking a couple drops and just putting it on my face. I'm probably going to need more. But... I just like starting with a couple drops first. But I think this will just make a nice base for the foundation. I see um, Madison Miller talk about the Smashbox Primer Oil a lot, but she's gone through it a lot more than I have. But she also wears foundation like on a daily basis and I use um, different um, primers every time I put on a foundation mostly because I haven't really been into the full coverage foundations recently and I really only use the Smashbox primer oil if I'm using a fuller coverage foundation like for example my Estee Double Wear my Estee, Double Wear, my Estee Lauder Double Wear I'll use with the primer oil. Um, the one today, I'm, I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation. Um, it is a full of coverage foundation. Never used it before though, so it might not even work with this primer. But I figure, you know, especially with how crappy my skin has been, it is better to try to give this foundation a fair chance than to not give it a fair chance at all. So, I'm I'm really trying hard to look at the actual camera and not at my viewfinder. I'm sorry. Um, but it's very hard. It's very distracting. Um, and I unfortunately, I can't have the viewfinder facing the other way because my phone will just cut off um, sometimes. It really shouldn't be saying viewfinder because it's not a viewfinder. I, I film on my phone. But anyway, going back into it, like I said, I'm going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to lie, doe foot applicator, buck foot applicators kind of scare me after the Hydra Boost, but I'm just going to try it. So we'll do three stripes for now. If you see me looking here, it's over here, it's because um, I have a mirror. And where I'm trying not to look in the viewfinder, 
Although, maybe looking in the viewfinder for this part isn't necessarily a bad thing. So I'm looking in the viewfinder, but just know it's because, um, it's not because I'm trying to ignore you, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. So that covered up really nicely. Dang. I feel like three stripes may have been a lot, though. I don't know. But that looks really nice. Like, compared... Looks really nice. So, keep going. Um, we'll do another three stripes. It looks kind of yellow at first, but it like blends in kind of nicely. Might be a little dark. Which is sad because this is literally the lightest shade offered. Put a little bit more right there just to cover up that spot and then a little bit on my nose. So far, this buck up foot applicator is a lot stronger than the um, Neutrogena Hydra Boost one. Just so we are aware, so they don't all suck. So, yeah, just trying to see how much I really need, but like a small stripe right there, because I know I got this half of the forehead, and then that should be it, because then I think I got coverage on everything. Sorry, I keep looking back and forth to the camera, to the viewfinder, to the mirror. I'm, I'm a hump mess. So as you can see, it's not a perfect match, but I think it looks pretty decent. And I think, you know, it's not a horrible match. It's not like my summer shade versus my winter shade. I think it's just the color is just a tad off, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's go into my, uh... ah, crapola, that's okay, hold on, okay, so let's go in, I've been testing out the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, it's really emollient. So I'm not really sure how much I like it. I mean, I feel like you can kind of see the difference, but at the same time, I really don't know. If you can hear the birds, I'm sorry. They're being like really extra loud today. And I really don't know why. Okay, I think you can tell the difference. Um, this is just my Equal Tools Micro 
blending brush. If you saw my last video, I'll have it um, linked in the description box or up in the cards, one of the two. Um, it was where I talked about my favorite affordable drugstore brushes, and that was definitely in there. So, what do you guys think? Does that look okay? I don't know. I feel like it looks really dewy. So I'm just going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in my project pan, and I feel like I'm almost done. Like, nothing's really coming out on the applicator anymore. But there's still some product. So I want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth because this is like a $29 concealer. So. But like if I just stick it in, like I'll show you. First off, it's getting kind of gross. But if I just stick it in and pull it out, not, there's like nothing on the applicator anymore which is kind of nice so i'm kind of just scraping the sides right now panning products gets messy oh sorry i hate dipping out on you guys but it was necessary very necessary um so yeah just blending that out As you guys know, this is like my holy grail mascara. As of right now, uh, not mascara, concealer. As of right now, I have a bunch more that I've purchased recently that I need to try. But as of right now, this is my holy grail. Um, there's a few more concealers that I want to try to get through before I open up any of my newer concealers. Just because they've been open for a long time and I just want to try to use them. So I just put in a ColourPop order and I was so mad. So part of my Valentine's Day gift from Adam was um, originally was so I could order the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Um, but the money wasn't there on time and... I'm kind of free weird about pre-orders. I don't really enjoy them. I'm just going to set the um, under eye concealer with my Reserve Your Cabana. This is in my project pan. As you can see, I'm doing pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to wait till it gets back in stock to order it. I still can't believe it was sold out in freaking three minutes. Holy crap. I think that makes Jeffree Star history. Um... But I'll just wait till it gets back in stock. I'm kind of weird about pre-orders. Um, I don't really like them. So I decided to put in an order with ColourPop. And let me tell you, I am so mad because I was going to order the Kathleen Lane's Dream Street palette. And all week, it's been in stock. I go to order it today. It's out of stock. Ugh. So now that's even longer, I have to wait for that palette, but I did order the um, Yes Please palette, which I was planning on ordering anyway, but I got that, um, I ordered that, I ordered the Dream Team lip kit thing that she did with the collaboration that with the, um, did I get, I don't know, it looks like I did. I got freaking highlighter on the inside of my phone case. Um, but those were like the lip colors that she made with the dream collection, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set the face. Um, I'm currently not using the one in my project pan just because it is a little dark for me right now. And honestly... I think I'm just gonna wait to try to finish it up till it's a little till my skin gets a little darker. So 
So right now, I'm just kind of having fun with my powders. And we're gonna mattify that all out. And this is just in the transparent shade. So it really you shouldn't be adding color or coverage or anything. But I do think this foundation is a pretty good coverage foundation. That's actually like really nice. Once the skin's set, it doesn't really feel tacky. It could have felt tacky because of the primer that I used. I will give it that. Um, but so far, I'm I'm liking it. Um, so, hold on one second. Let me grab the next palette, the next products I'm going to use. Alright, so I'm just going into my Cheekathon palette. I'm going to contour using the Hoola Bronzer. This is also in my Project Pam. I've recently learned that when you want to contour, to try to go a little bit above the hollow. That way it gives more of a lifted cheek appearance. I'm not really sure how I like that. I'm just using the brush that the um, palette came with to contour the cheek. I also find that when I do this, I can never get the sides even. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. eye grease brush. I'm not gonna contour my nose today, but I am going to contour my lower lip. I like doing this because I feel like it just gives a lot more of a fuller look. It will be blended out, I promise. All right. And I'm just gonna blend that. This is the Elf um, contour brush. So I like that small brush to apply the product in the area that I want it. See, look how much plumper that made my lip look. <sighs> so good. But then I just use this brush to um, blend it out. I find it just to be really easy. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe M527 pointed powder brush. And I love this for bronzing my forehead. I love it. So, oh, I haven't even uh, blended that out. I will in just a sec, I promise. And just gonna load that up with product. Bang off the extra and apply it to the forehead. We try to make it kind of cohesive. Do I always succeed? No. I feel like I actually took too much off. But you know what? I'd rather take too much off and have to apply more than apply too much and then try to have to blend it away. I think that gives like a nice subtle bronze to my forehead without making it too obvious that I bronzed my forehead. Cause you know, it is the middle of winter here. And I'm just gonna blend out my contour. Well, I gotta light, light, light it up. Light it up tonight. Sorry. <laughs> totally random, but I've been loving that song. It's from uh, Glee. Really, really love it. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty Contour and Blush Brush. And I'm going to take the Blush Rocketeur, which is also in my Project Pan. I always put on too much, then I blend it out. We're gonna light, light, light it up, light it up tonight. Why do I keep doing that to you guys? I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't be punishing you with my singing. So Rockator is such a pretty like rose gold muted blush color. So much to where I tend to overdo it and then I need to blend it out. But that's okay. Get in there. I'd rather have to blend it out. Okay, I'll just leave that there. Um, and let me pick out a highlighter, hold on. So I'm gonna go in with the Hard Candy Tiki Highlighter just because the eye look is gonna be so ba-bam that I don't want the highlight just like overpower, an overpowering highlight. I just want something nice and subtle. I think it's just a really nice subtle highlight. Put that away. All right, so this is when I spray my face just because I hate spraying my face after I put mascara on because it ruins the mascara. So I use the NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. I've been loving this setting spray. And I'm just using my Dare to Create palette to uh, fan myself. I need to get one of those electric fans that uh, Kathleen Lights has, because that was pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna zoom you in so we can get a better look at the eyes. All right, you nice, close, and personal. So I'm just gonna go in with the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eye Primer. Just do a little and then I blend it out. Okay. So I'm gonna go in my beauty killer palette i'm gonna take one of the wet and wild large eyeshadow brushes and i'm gonna go into china white and i'm just going to set the eyeshadow primer It's funny because I remember when this palette first came out, I was like, oh my god, the shadows scare me. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not, because I'm never going to use it. And lately, just with how inspired I've been with color and everything, 
Okay, so like one thing about this foundation so far, you can't really tell on camera. And again, it's my fault because I've been really, really crappy about my skincare lately. But it's definitely sinking into all the um, dryness. Can't really tell on camera, but you can definitely tell in person. I need to get my eyebrows done so badly. Maybe I'll make an appointment this week. <laughs> Okay, let's see what brushes do I have in here. I have my go-tos, that would be awesome. It doesn't look like I do. Which sucks. So, oh wait, I do. Cool, cool, cool. I do have one more of that one. It's kind of shaped a little funny, must have dried down weirdly, but this is the Elfam Professional Blending Brush. <laughs> It's, it must have dried a little funky, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So I'm going to go into a shade. I'm going to go into my Ultimate Basics palette. I'm going to take the shade Nudie. Just as a transition color. Um, before I go in with some other colors. So this is a palette, the Ultimate Basics palette is a palette I've actually barely used, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm just so not inspired by it. I mean, is that weird? Like, I remember when it first came out, everyone and their mother had it, and everyone loved it, and now I hear nobody talk about it. And I honestly think it's because in the beauty community here, we're just craving something new. And this is nothing new. And, um, that's why I feel like we're all drawn towards stuff like the Dare to Create palette, the Beauty Killer palette. We're just looking for something new and colorful because we're not getting it. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Commando, which is right next to it. I just need this for a little bit more transition-y colors because I do have a transition color in there but I only really have one and I like going in with a couple. I like to build. I remember watching a Jacqueline Hill tutorial and she was like, biggest thing is you need to build the, your colors otherwise it's not gonna come out ooh what the frig did i just do or else it's not gonna come out the way you want it to and i kind of agree with her on that oh my god i'm gonna there we go that was bad guys I remember when I first started um, doing makeup, I needed um, shadow shields all the time. Now I'm just like, mess up my face, I dare you. 
Although I still wear them for the subculture palette because whew, the fallout on that is extra. It's okay. All right, going back into the Beauty Killer palette, I'm going to take the shade Courtney and put that in my crease. These are highly pigmented, so just be careful. Courtney's a little bit warmer, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna do like a halo eye. I think that'd be super pretty. <sighs> Who really wants Jeffrey to come out with base products? Like foundations, concealers, all that jazz. Why do I keep messing this eye up? It's probably because of that frickin' brush being shaped so weirdly. That's okay. It's okay, guys. So again, just gonna blend, 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 blend. Why is this video already 30 minutes long? I'm sorry that I've been giving you such long videos lately. All right. I'm gonna go in with a different brush just because I have to be a little care a little bit more careful with this next color. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. defining eye brush. I'm gonna go into Star Power. That's this really, really bright ass pink. I'm gonna start applying that to my crease. I have some of that Courtney shade in my corner. Okay, that looks it's cute. Just blending it a little. That way it's not so... Straight. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more. Not for a first date. It's for if you're already established. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. With this look, I just know I wanted to use this pink. First I was just gonna put the pink on the whole eye. But I'm kind of leaning more towards a halo eye. Now with this color, I'm being very careful and kind of blending as I go. Just because if you don't, it can get real messy real quick. Now I'm going to start doing the line on the other side. Once again, we're going to blend. go back and just intensify it a little bit. Last week I gave you guys some red realness. This week I'm giving you some pink realness. Okay. 
kind of went outside the lines a little bit, but that's okay. That's what blending is for. Okay, that's looking really nice so far. Good job, Cassie. All right. So now, I again, I gotta be a little careful, so I'm taking the Wet n Wild Smoky Liner Brush, going back into that Star Power color, and just kinda bringing it in on the outer and inner corners. Just because, like I said, kind of in the mood for a halo eye. Okay. And then keep going, keep going. I do these types of looks and people think I'm weird. Well, let me tell you. I'll serve you all the weirdness. I am dipping my brush into violence. That's one of the shade colors, that one. Like, I'm dipping the end of my brush into it and ruining the shadow because I suck. So, let's blend that a little bit just to Make everything a little cohesive. <sighs> See, I got some fallout, that's okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of the small eyeshadow brushes and I'm gonna go into the shade Princess. Pick that up and actually I'm gonna take some NYX Glitter Glue. I've been doing this a lot lately. Even if it's not a glitter, I'll take my glitter glue and put it in the spot where I really want it more intensified. So like today, I want it more intense right in that halo. So, now we're gonna Put it on that looks so pretty. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side as soon as I get this to the intensity that I want. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye with the NYX Glitter Glue. Oh, I'm 
loving it, guys. I'm loving it. So, I'm just going to blend that. Just so it's not so stark. You know, it'll still be stark because it's a halo eye, but it won't be as bad. At least it'll be blended. Okay. Doesn't that look so pretty, guys? Now, I'm not sure if I want to go in with liner or not. Originally, I was thinking about it, but this looks so pretty as it is. I don't think I'm going to. Guys. Whew. All right. So, I'm going to do my mascara and lashes off camera, and I'll be right back. All right. Please don't mind the lashes. I'm not a huge fan of these lashes. I've been trying to broaden my eye, false eyelash um, repertoire. Um, my absolute favorites are the Kiss Ever Easy lashes. This is in the shade 11, uh, the shade, in the style 11. And these are, as you can see, I've worn three of them already. And I still have two left. Um, today, I tried out the Sassy and Chic ones from the Dollar Tree. Oh my god, they were so hard to apply. Like, I don't know if you will be able to see how crappy of an application this is. Like, in the camera, the effect is nice. And even, like, in a mirror, like, far away, it's nice. But when you get up close and personal, you can see how shitty of an application it is. Ooh, let's not do that crap. Okay, it didn't destroy the shadows. That's the important part. Sorry, you guys. You've seen a lot of shirt there. Um, so now we're going to go into lips. And just to have some fun with it, I think I'm going to use the shade Virginity. Um, it's from the Jeffree Star collection. It was from his 2016 summer collection. Super pretty. I don't really have anything to line my lips with, so I'm just gonna shake it, stir it, get it all nice and ready. This is gonna be so ridiculous looking, but I'm just, I'm having fun, guys. I'm just having a lot of fun with makeup. And I mean, life's too short not to have fun. So yeah, this is the final makeup look. Um, obviously, if you don't have this, it is no longer available. Um, I don't really have anything that's a dupe for it. But you can also, you know, use a nude. Like, this is actually like, because it's so light, it's almost kind of like concealery nude on me. So, you could go that route, or you could just go the route of, um, anything really else. <laughs> so, yeah, that is my uh, Valentine's Day look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!